country's largest school district struggling with virtual learning could be getting some relief soon. Now, that decision to remain online or in person coming down in just two weeks. Our Tatiana Taylor has more from Tulsa Public School Superintendent Dr. Deborah Gist and her message to parents worried for the future of TPS. Tatiana, good morning. Well, Corey, good morning. You know, in talking to Dr. Deborah Grist, one thing she emphasized over and over again, the district is listening. So teachers, staff and students, uh, they hear your concerns, but want to consider everything when it comes uh, to making the decision to stay uh, online or go in person for the rest of the school year. Now, another thing, the district is working to make the distance learning run as smooth as it possibly can, and they want parents to know that although there are challenges with distance learning, there are also challenges to return to traditional in class instruction as well. In making this decision, the Board of Education and GIST plans to use surrounding districts and cases data in addition to what the CDC recommends for schools. But GIST says the main message to parents of the district knows it's been difficult and school leaders want to remain normal too. We desperately want our children back in school just as much as they do. And so I just want to make sure they know that that is what we're working toward. We are just making sure that we can do that in a way that is smart and careful and um, and protective of our team members um, and our children's families. Gist says in trying to balance the issues that come with the spread of COVID-19 and the district is also taking the mental and emotional health of families into consideration as the deadline to make this decision approaches. Now, parents, the Board of Education will meet today in a special meeting at 4 p.m. And if you need more information on where to go to get that link, you can go online to KGRH.com. Live in Tulsa, I'm Tatiana Taylor. Two works for you. And a note.